So today we're going to be talking about the perfect ab crunch because I see a lot of people doing this wrong. They come up to me and say I've done 200, 300 sit ups today. Well if you do 200 or 300 bicep curls, well you must be doing it fairly light. So what we're going to be doing is teaching you today how to add load to abdominal muscles. So you should no longer be able to do 1 to 100 reps but you're simply doing 4 sets of 15 uh, as we are going to put into programming. to teach you how to use your abdominals and your core to be the primary mover with a weight load that's going to get genuine results. Now what results am I talking about here? Um, do not think for a second that this is going to help you lose your tummy. Ab crunches and sit-ups makes your stomach bigger. Now let me repeat that. If I want to get a bigger bicep, what do I do? I do bicep curls. If I want to get a big abdominal muscles, then what do I do? Ab crunches and sit-ups. The muscle and the fat sits over the top. The fat isn't going to be targeted here. Ab crunches and sit-ups is going to be targeting your abdominal muscles underneath, uh, creating strength in your core and creating a six-pack. You, if you want to focus on losing your tummy, you need to focus on your diet and focus on what foods you're eating and focus on doing uh, weight training over cardio, but still doing cardio as a bonus. That comes in my other videos. Here we're talking about how to contract your core and how to create a strong core and how to create a strong abdominal muscle. So your range of motion is not coming all the way up and coming all the way down. You don't need to do that to take your abdominal muscles through its full range of motion. So we're simply doing a crunch. When you're doing a crunch, I want you to pause at the top. So you're going to come up, pause, and then slowly come down again. Now your head position is what's going to establish that. So when you are on the top of the crunch, the further you take your head backwards, the more weight you're taking away from the center of gravity being your abdominals. So do this for yourself. Do the crunch, tuck your chin and get up as high as you can and then slowly tilt your chin all the way backwards and watch your body fall. Because it's so heavy, you can't hold yourself up. You are naturally going to fall back. So your head position is looking upward. So I want you to find a position back on your ceiling and keep your eyes on it the whole time. And by doing that, when you come up, your face should be parallel with the ceiling. I don't want you having your chin tucked, I don't want your head coming forward, I want your head going backwards, I want your chin all the way up and looking backward. By doing that, you are taking weight away from the center of gravity, adding more weight to the abdominal muscles. So your head position here is vital. Here's the tough part. When you do an ab crunch, you're using your TVA, your transverse abdominus. That's the muscle underneath your abs, it's your core. So when you're doing your crunches, you're using your core and your abs at the same time. What we're gonna do is, we are going to contract your core, hold it there, so it never lets go. And you're gonna do your crunches, and the pause at the top, you're gonna have your head tilted back, and you're gonna do the exercise with your core contracted at all times. Your core never lets go. And this is the best way to activate your core in an ab crunch and sit up. And it also helps your abs because by contracting your core and pre-contracting it, your abs has got no help, which means your abs have to work twice as hard. So this is how it's done. When you're on your back, I want you to rotate your pelvis and push your lower spine into the ground. So in this crunch and sit up, the position you're in is you're on your back, your knees are up and feet are on the floor, right? So your feet are up, so your feet and your knees are up um, and you're on your back. So you've got your knees up, feet on the floor. Rotate your pelvis and push your lower spine into the ground. You'll notice that your abs will contract a little bit.
Now, once your lower back is on the ground, I want you to hold it there. Non-stop, do not let go. And now, go through your range of motion with your head position up. Do that. So chin up, contract your abs, pause at the top, and go back down again. Even when you go back down, your spine stays down. In between reps, your spine stays down. Your core never lets go until the end of the exercise. That's gonna be the best way you're gonna activate your core. Whoa, now it's gonna get even harder. Because in this exercise, predominantly, your upper abs are contracting. Your lower abs are still contracting, but they aren't targeted. So this is what you're gonna do. You're lying down fat, flat on your back, Knees are up, feet are on the floor. Hands behind your head or in your ears, but you're not gonna pull on your head. Your abs are doing the work. There's no strain on your neck. Your chin is up. Once you're in that position, rotate your pelvis, pushing your spine down into the ground. Once it's there, I want you to raise your feet just a centimeter, a centimeter off the ground. I don't wanna take your feet off the ground. Don't cheat. I'm talking about just a centimeter, a millimeter off the ground just to get that transfer of weight onto your core and onto your lower abs. Just a centimeter off the ground. No cheating whilst you're in between this and getting your feet up in the air. Your feet are a centimeter off the ground, that much. Now once you're in that position, you're gonna contract your abs, squeezing yourself up, chin still up, pause at the top, coming back down, your spine is still on the ground, your feet are still a centimeter off the ground. You're gonna, as soon as you come down, bang, you're gonna drive back up again, and that's how we do the perfect crunch, pre-contracting and activating your TVA as well as your abdominal muscles and pausing at the top to create a massive weight load. That, my friends, is the perfect crunch.